Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood of Oxhorn, and here I am today in my player home at my kitchen to show you all of the new foods that you can roast at a cooking station from Nuka World. Some of these are forgettable, but some of them can actually replace some of the common foods that you use in your regular gameplay. So let's get right to it. First on the list is the Crispy Cave Cricket. It heals 250 HP over time, grants you 20 energy resistance. That lasts for 30 minutes. Pretty cool. It costs two cave cricket meat. Let's check it out. Mmm, now that looks delicious. Slather some barbecue sauce on there, and you've got yourself some nice cricket jerky. Next is the Gator Claw Stick. You can find the Gator Claws in the Safari Zone, although after you complete the quest, uh, I'm not sure how you would get Gator Claw meat again. But it heals 195 HP over time, grants you one agility for an entire hour. Wow, that's impressive. Let's check it out. And it looks very similar to a Death Claw Steak. Looking delicious. Gonna go grab some A1 sauce. Next on the list is the Gazelle Steak, and wow, plus 25 carry weight for two hours. Two hours? Is that more? Yes, the Grilled Rad Stag only grants it for one hour. The Gazelle Steak is for two hours, that's pretty great. The Grilled Hermit Crab is nice, plus two strength for 30 minutes. That would increase your carry weight for uh, by quite a bit for, for 30 minutes. But two hours? Man, that's going to be so useful. All right, let's check it out. I'm going to make two because I want to run an experiment. Let's see if the gazelle steak stacks with other foods. So my curry weight is at 470. And it's now at 495. Great, great. Let's try the grilled rad stag. 520. It does stack. If you're doing a dungeon crawl, you could pop a grilled rad stag, a grilled gazelle meat, and you could walk, you could walk away with the entire dungeon filled with loot. Oh my, that's a tasty looking ribeye. Put some blue cheese sauce on there, maybe some peppercorn. Mmm. Grilled Nuka Lurk, plus 10 AP for 30 minutes. Heals 80 HP. All right, this is a little confusing. Max AP 12 and plus 10 AP for 30 minutes. So I didn't get it. Is that a typo or do those stack? Max AP is plus AP, right? Huh. All right, my AP is 235, and the Grilled Nuka Lurk description in the crafting menu said plus 10 AP, but this says max 12 AP. Let's see what it really is. And it brings it to 247, so it is 12, not 10. So it looks like that uh, that's just a, a typo in the cooking crafting menu. It is 12. Whoa, that is one psychedelic burger. Not sure if that's really appetizing. I might have to pass. Next up is the Grilled Queen Nuka Lurk. And wow, it grants plus three endurance for one hour. Consumes one Queen Nuka Lurk meat and also heals 220 HP over time. Let's do it. Oh, oh, it looks like a pile of blue cheese that's gone bad. Looks like something that Strong would pick out of his nose. Next up is the Rad Rat Steak. It grants five AP for 20 minutes. Huh, I wonder if that would stack with the Grilled Nuka Lurk. Well, let's make them both and find out. Okay, so we're still at 247 AP from the Grilled Nuka Lurk earlier. Let's uh, go ahead and try the Rad Rad Steak. 252. They do stack. You could pop a Rad Rad Steak and the Grilled Nuka Lurk, and wow, you'd have some killer AP for quite some time. And it looks exactly like the Gazelle Steak over there. Looks bigger than the actual rad rat itself. Roasted ant takes three ant meat and only generates 45 HP over time. No other benefit. Am I reading that right? Yeah, looks looks like it just heals health. 
All right, looks like we got some nice uh, white meat going on there. Looks uh, almost like a, a piece of pork. I think that's the same uh, texture and model they used for the red scorpion steak. Roasted bloodworm. Heals 20 HP over time and grants an increase in 10 radiation resistance um, for a period of time. It doesn't say for how long. I am not looking forward to seeing what this looks like. Oh, man. That's just gross. Looks like a heart. Am I the only one that thinks that looks like a heart? Oh, not appetizing. All right, that's everything new that you can craft at a cooking station. But while we're here, let's go over some of the other consumable food items that you get in Nuka World. I already did a video on all of the different Nuka Colas that exist in the game, including the ones you find and the ones you can craft. So please check out that video here. But next on the list is going to be the Cotton Candy Bites. You find these all over Nuka World. It restores 45 HP over time and costs one rad. That's a nice, handsome package. Looks like it's a reskinned uh, Dandy Boy Apples box. Next up is the Fever Blossom. You find this all over Nuka World. It's actually a component for many of the uh, Raider Gang grenades that you use to subdue settlements. But you can also eat it if you want. Restores 45 HP over time and costs zero rads. That's the nice thing about these. It doesn't cost you any rads. Oh, that looks nice. Looks like you can have a, a salad of fever blossom if you really want. Looks odd surrounded by all this weird meat. <laughs> Next up is the funnel cake and it has the exact same stats as the fancy lad snack cakes. 45 HP over time and it costs one rads. Comes in a handsome box though. Almost looks like it should be a game of Monopoly or something. And last, and actually quite possibly least, we've got Mystery Bacon and Mystery Jerky. They both restore 10 HP over time and they cost, uh, they weigh half a pound. And um, you find these in the pack area. There's the backstage area where a lot of the pack hang out and where you see all of those caged pens. You see this mystery bacon and mystery jerky just strewn about the place. And if you if you want this, you can loot it and it will respawn over time. But to my knowledge, it doesn't drop off of any monsters or animals. And there they are in all their meaty glory. We've got the mystery bacon on the left and the mystery jerky on the right. Can we just agree that if a meat has the word mystery in its name, probably not something we want to consume? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These are all of the new items that you can craft at the cooking station and all of the new consumable foods that you can find in Nuka World. Uh, some of them are less useful than others, but I, for one, am going to make a great use out of the gazelle meat. I'm going to stack that with my rad stag. And then I'll probably be using the rad rat meat in combination with the nucalert, the grilled nucalert, to uh, increase my AP. I mean, it lasts for such a long time, so you might as well. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this video was useful. It sure was fun to make. If you have any questions about the foods you can craft from Nuka World, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe for more Nuka World and Fallout 4 content. And thank you so very much for watching.